Blender is considered one of the best 3D softwares overall, but is it a good choice for animation? Many animators rely on other 3D packages to do their work, and they don't consider the free and open source software that is capable of making professional looking animations. In this video, we are going to dive deep into Blender animation system that offers to artists tools to help them reach their end result whether it be movies, TV shows, or commercials. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teach you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Character animation. Whether it's simple keyframing or complex walk cycles, Blender allow artists to turn their still characters into impressive animations. Now before we start talking about Blender animation features, we need to talk about rigging first, which is adding controllable bones to your character. This part of the animation pipeline is very important, because you need a good rig for your character in order to make the best animation possible for it. Luckily, Blender offers all the tools and features that make sure that you are going to create the best rig for your characters. Some of the tools that Blender offers for rigging are Envelope, Skeleton and Automatic Skinning, Easy Weight Painting, Mirror Functionality, Bone Layers and Colored Group for Organization, B-Spline Interpolated Bones, and more. Now when it comes to animation, since its beginning, the Blender Foundation started to create short movies using only Blender. Their first movie was Elephant Dream in 2007, and Blender now is well known for its short movies that are created by Blender Animation Studio by only using Blender. You can take a look at these movies to see what you can do using Blender Animation System. Blender offers all you need to create your animations. Some of the tools that Blender offers for animators are Character Animation Pose Editor, Non-Linear Animation for Independent Movement, Forward and Inverse Kinematics for Fast Poses, and Sound Synchronization. Non-Character Animation Now, animation is not all about characters. Anything in a scene can be animated, like props and environment elements for example. And when you categorize these elements, some of the props need really simple rigs and animations, and some of them need complex rigs and animations, like vehicles for example. And when it comes to Blender for creating vehicle rigs, it becomes simpler if you use some of the add-ons that the Blender community created just to do that. Another asset that needs to have complex rigs and animations are weapons, especially if they are going to be used in a first-person shooter game. Blender has all the tools necessary to do all these types of rigs and animations without problems because the same tools we use for characters can be applied to props and other things. Motion Graphics There are hundreds of artists using Blender for motion graphics today, and that's for a good reason. Because Blender offers all the necessary tools and features needed to create the best looking motion graphics. Also Blender offers EV real time render engine that allow you to see how your animation looks in real time. Also Blender comes with modifiers which are automatic operations that affects an object's geometry in a non-destructive way. These modifiers are heavily used by Blender motion graphic artists that use them to simplify the process of creating this kind of animations. Also Blender offers text creation tools and the geometry nodes features which can be used to create motion graphics in Blender. Now when it comes to motion graphics, a lot of artists will rely on other software like Cinema 4D or Houdini, but I think in the, in the coming years, Blender is going to be more developed in this area and more people are going to join the community. 2D Animation Blender is one of the few 3D software that gives you the ability to draw and create 2D animation with it. 
All of that is possible by using the Grease Pencil feature, which is a particular type of Blender object that allow you to draw in the 3D space. It can be used to make traditional 2D animation, cutout animation, motion graphics, or use it as a storyboard tool, among other things. Now, to see what you can achieve with this Blender feature, you can check out the short movie Hero that is created by the Blender Animation Studio only by using the Grease Pencil feature. Also, the Blender Animation Studio used this feature when creating storyboards for other short movies. Now, after creating the animation, you need to set up the render settings, the optimization, and the output format for your animation. Now, Blender offers two render engines, EV, the real-time render engine, which gives you clean renders at a real-time pace at the expense of realism, and Cycles, which is the physically based ray tracer, which uses samples as a determining factor for how realistic you want your render in exchange for time, which means the more samples you set, the cleaner the final result and the more time is going to take to finish rendering. Also with Blender, you have complete control over the settings of the render itself. The properties panel allow you to define the frame rate of the animation as well as the total animation length and the resolution. From here, you can also define the render output for your animation because Blender offers a few file formats for outputting your rendered movie file. Now, should you use Blender for animation? Well, Blender will get the job done regardless of the context, whether it's being used to create adverts, animation shorts, and even motion graphics. It can go toe to toe with many of the more professional applications when it comes down to the quality of the final result. For beginners and freelance animators, Blender is a perfect option. It has all the tools that you will need for most projects and you get all that for free. This also makes Blender a terrific first choice as a learning tool for 3D modeling and 3D animation. While it does possess its own quirks, the process of creating animation is basically the same on Blender as it is on other applications. On top of that, you'll find more learning resources on places like YouTube for Blender than the alternatives. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about using Blender for animation. I just love to hear this conversation with you guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.